hey guys what's up uh, now that we're all coming out of the lockdown and hoping to restart our lives and get back to some semblance of normalcy um, i know a lot of you out there are starting to uh, put yourselves out there start dating again um so i figured i'd make a video about something that i've been asked a lot over the last one week uh, this is how do you get around the covid small talk and talk about more interesting things uh, while on a date so let me just start by saying that it's inevitable that we will talk about covid because covid has had such a significant impact on all of our lives no exceptions right uh, we've all been stressed we've been anxious we've been worried we've been uncertain of our futures and so on so it's only natural that people talk about it because i don't think any of us have had the chance to really process what's going on with our lives so the more we talk about it the more we feel like we have some sort of um control over what this is doing to us so it's okay to talk about it in fact if somebody pretends like it hasn't had an impact on their lives i'd be worried then right but having said that there's no reason to judge somebody based on what they have to say about um um the the pandemic because i think different people deal with it differently and i think we have enough to judge each other on and we don't need one more thing now one of my friends is saying oh i judge people if they aren't being very cautious and they seem very careless about the pandemic and you know if they t- tell me about going shopping every day or you know uh, stepping out in the crowd without a mask guys let me just say let me just say that these are exceptional times and you don't have to um take how people deal with exceptional times and apply the same sort of uh, template on to how they deal with everything in their lives right um so let that be rest okay now i know i know that talking about the pandemic is inevitable but a lot of people also feel extremely exhausted just talking about it so i think it's really important for you to realize when to actually stop talking about that and move on to other things um so i'd say if you're talking to somebody for an hour or something um you know don't spend more than 5 10 minutes talking about the impact of covid uh, unless you're having a really really interesting conversation and you're talking about products being developed because of covid or like some such thing um make sure make sure you're conscious of the amount of time that you're spending on this topic right um because you could be talking about this with just about anybody and you're not getting any new information about the specific person that you're talking to on a date uh, if you spend all your time talking about covid so how do you get around it the way to get around it is just as you would do with any conversation pre covid right um you know you notice learn enough about the other person before you start talking to them right like there's a lot of information about people on the internet or what they've put out there deliberately on their profile you could pick up on that and start talking about that as a conversation starter it's always a great way to start a conversation when you tell people that you know you notice something that they've written and you're interested in talking about it right the other way to do it is spend a lot of time asking questions um uh in the conversation try to find out about the other person because it shows that you're interested in them and that you're curious and you know um it also allows the other person to feel sort of important or uh you know good in the conversation now i always tell this to people when they go out on dates make sure that you learn enough about the other person than they learn about you because then at the end of the date you you have the power in terms of whether you want to um have another conversation with this person or not and a lot of people don't get this and they end up spending all of their time talking about themselves and never really learning anything about the other person which is a terrible waste of everybody's time i think um so ask a lot of questions about the other person to try and get to know them better the other thing that you can do which is a lot more fun and organic uh, is uh, uh try and play games try and play games it could be asking each other interesting questions or having a meal talking about something specific although it feels like it is artificially set up and you're discussing a theme or a topic for the for the date 
once you get into it, it will be a lot more organic and a lot more fun, uh, a lot less forced, a lot less interviewee. Um, and I bet you'll have a lot more fun uh, than having to come up with questions on the fly constantly. Um, it definitely takes the pressure off uh, both parties because you have to equally contribute in that case if you're playing some sort of a game. Um, so these are some of the ways in which you can actually get around the COVID conversation. But I'm still going to end this video by saying that if somebody talks about COVID, if somebody seems anxious, it's okay. It's okay, right? As long as you're not spending more than 20, 25% of the time talking about COVID during your day, it's completely okay. Yeah.